Bright children, I gave you an exercise about an array in in your the previous uh, test, the previous uh, exercises. If you go through uh, the exercise, the the program is written like this: sum array, input and its output. Okay. Type. I have given a type of ICT marks array. This is the variable name of ICT. The variable name, common name given to it. So that common name is going to have five values, one to five, as integer values. And then I have given some variables, assigned some variables over here. I have declared some variables here. Num1, uh, I'm sorry, i sum as integer and a subject count, a subject count, a simple variable and it is going to re is going to be equal to the ICT array. ICT array. Okay. And then I begin sum. I'm giving an initial value of zero. Subject count the first variable or the first index indexed arrays array of the sub subject count is equals to ninety eight. And the second count the second index 78 and so forth until it's 5 the last 70 and now I use an uh, an array uh, I have used an array here now I'm using a loop for I loop from 1 to 5 2 and I'm adding the subject count I into the sum each time when it loops. Now you know how it loops. So each time when the loop loops from 1, the value of the i is represented and added to, to its sum, sum value. So each time 98 will be added to the 4i1, 78 it will be 4i2, so forth. And then I'm writing a simple subject, a simple uh, a notice, just a simple text value, subject total is, and then I'm just typing it sum, the sum value. And then the subject of this, uh, the above values are being added, and then that sum, according to the value of the sum, I'm going to divide it by its i. I means what? 1 to 5. So it is 1 to 5 means five by number of subjects, 5. And then I am placing it into 0 decimals and and then I am placing all these decimal values into 2 digit numbers two or 2 place decimals. And when I run that, now you should get a total value of 401. When 401 is divided by 5, the average is 80.20. So when you add this in the calculator, you get a value of 401. The 401 is divided by, divided by the i. i means the, the value of number of loops, so 1 to 5, so it's 5. And then I'm placing its all decimal values into zero and then repositioning it into two decimal values. If I don't do that, if I don't do that, and then run, I get big va decimal values over here. So to avoid that, I place, I place the i simply all zeros and then repositioning it to 2. Then I get 80.20. Exactly, go and see in your calculator whether you have got the average correctly. So this is the example of an array in Pascal 
and you must remember each array if you want to retrieve them completely you can use for i do loop according to its values so over here it's one to five how many length of array starting from one to five five arrays are there i hope you understood and if you have any doubt pause your video and rewind it and then see whether you got it and if you have got it then well done good luck thanks for watching before i conclude this lesson children let me ask you a simple question what if i really want to subtract the array counter index number 1 from its value 98 the last index value how do you do about it i want you to write that in your text in your textbooks and show me how you have done it but let me just show you how whether you have got it correctly I'll just say your answer. Okay, my answer. What? Right. From the subject count index number, index number, I can say something like this way. From the subject count, subtract. number two now if you run this you should get 20 how did I get 20 why did I get 20 from 98 from 98 uh, yes let me just say 78 I have subtract so it's right from 98 if you want to just see how it is done from the subject 5 the last subject 98 subtract 78 i should get 18 28 i'm sorry it is it should be 28 this is the way you do about it so hope you will understand thank you for watching and keep practicing keep doing it until you master the pascal very well have a nice day goodbye